This is KCCI News Channel 8. It was horrible. I mean, all the walls are black. In no time at all, a cooking fire can turn your kitchen into an inferno. But what do you do if it happens to you? Most people panic if they find a grease-filled pan on fire. So we put to the test several items that are said to put them out and found a $50 device that can really be installed in seconds. News Channel 8 Cynthia Fodor shows us the ingredients to snuff out a fire. Just like this. Mike Russell will never forget the last time he fried onion rings. The cooking oil caught fire. He grabbed the pan and ran to the sink. As I was dumping it out, I got burnt. This finger onto my thumb here. 55% of people who try to fight the fire themselves are injured. 11% die. Ames firefighters put oil in a pan and left it on the stove to show us what happens. In about 15 minutes, it bubbles up, spills over, spatters, and starts to spark. All right, now we have a fire. The fire ignited at 700 degrees. Most people end up with serious burns by grabbing the pan to spill out the grease. Do not move the skillet from the stove. Periodically, they'll do the real dumb thing. They'll pick this up and take it outside. And in the process, because the, the adrenaline's flowing, they're nervous, they will spill this and they will leave a trail of fire all the way from the stove to the outside door. Where the biggest mistake people make, what causes the most injuries, deaths and damage, throwing water on the fire, causing it to flare up into the whole kitchen. And then there's a great chance that they're going to get it on themselves and now they're on fire. So that's the worst case scenario, but we will see that periodically happen. You may have heard to smother a cooking fire with a cookie sheet or lid. We tried that and watch what happens when firefighters use a roasting pan. But it's not airtight and doesn't contain the flames. I don't think that's going to work. So we tried a tight fitting lid. We're going to try to put it out with the pan lid first. We'll put the pan lid over the top. There, that fits well. That is actually separating hey, the heat. From the fuel. But if the lid doesn't fit perfectly, watch what happens. It creates even more flames. The firefighter is wearing fireproof gloves, but imagine what would happen to your hand as the lid catches on fire. Once the flames get going, it has the potential to get throughout the house. So what is the secret to putting out a grease fire? Keep a good old-fashioned box of baking soda within arm's length of your stove and be ready to pour it on. A man in Texas invented an easy way to put out a fire using what looks like a bean dip can full of baking soda with a magnet that sticks under the hood. When a small fuse on the canister filled with bicarbonate of soda catches fire, watch. It pops like a balloon, quickly suppressing the flames. Some firefighters around the country are distributing these simple $50 devices hoping to save lives. A fire extinguisher with an A, B, or C rating will also do the trick if you know how to use it properly. If not, the best advice, when in doubt, get out. Call 911 and leave it to the professionals. If you have a fire like that, you want to get out of the house as fast as you can and call 911 so that we can get on our way. You can always replace property, but you can never replace a life. A few other tips to stay safe. Set a kitchen timer to remind you to check on your cooking. Keep things like pot holders, tea towels, or food packaging away from the burners. And remember how to stop, drop, and roll in case your clothes catch on fire. Stacy and Patrick. And thanks, Cynthia. If you're interested in those stovetop fire stops you saw there, those little cans of baking soda, you can order them through Lowe's or Ace Hardware stores.